just been driving in to the property. I'm sitting on the huge because you came over a bit of a rise and Kira spotted some goats. Just down here and there. Some really good billies in there actually. So I wouldn't mind going after one with my bow, but Kira hasn't been able to come hunting for a little bit, so she's gonna go and try and shoot a nice little tasty eater with her rifle. Righto, so it looks like Kira's got a couple of goats on the deck. I don't think my footage of the goats themselves turned out real well because the grass is so long I couldn't get much higher. There's still a few milling around over here and she's watching them. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> there's Kira and there's a few more goats. Anyhow, um, it's good to hopefully get a few on the ground early so I can maybe take the bow for a walk this evening. Bit of a regroup. Got one over there. A couple of little ones here. Beautiful eating size. Yeah, we'll sit under these trees. Dress them out in the shade. Then go down the back for a, another hunt. A good little stalk. Spotted some goaties out on the hill. And, uh, Aim of the game. So now you get to use your bow. <laughs> yes, now I can go bow hunting because Kira's. Only billies. <laughs> yeah. All nannies. But it has to be said that Kira <laughs> gets more excited about goat meat than venison in the freezer because. 100%. It's harder to find here as well. Well, goats are a rare treat, venison is just the they stock are. standard. Yeah. That's not too bad. You want to touch it up? Probably, yeah, before I do that. With this one being so young or so little, we're just going to take the guts out and take it home whole and maybe cook it for a special occasion. It's one of those Argentinian style over the open fire things you see. Could be a good bit of fun.
Hey, Maggie. That's a fancy pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go see what we can find. Here's that little ball, quartering away shot, so that's the entry. Yeah. Exit is probably a bit closer towards his head on the offside. He only made it, what, 100 metres? Yeah, just to show how quartering away he was, here's the um, entry wound. The arrow's still in him. Exited way out here, so it's just taken out all the top of his lungs. I'm not sure how the video turned out, but Kira was following me along this fence line while I made a stalk on this pig. There are a couple of much better ones up here, um, just up on this fence line, but I figured uh, a bird in the hand, you know. <laughs> I haven't killed that much stuff with my compound, so I thought I'd take the easy way. And uh, yeah, nice shot, um, heavily quartering away as you might see on some of the other footage. Um, he died very quickly. He actually stinks, so, um, like, stinks so bad we don't really feel like touching him to butcher him up, so he must be rolling around in some dead animals as they tend to do. But, uh, yeah, we'll head back up to camp now and maybe wake up early to try and find something else before we head off home. Took us a while to get back to the car after I killed that pig yesterday. So Kira's pretty tired. She's sleeping in, so I've come out for a walk by myself. And no, uh, it's totally within shooting range of that doe, but she had that fawn with her, so I thought I'd do the right thing and not kill her or the fawn. Because I'm not that desperate for me. Even though, yeah, it would have been, would have been an easy shot. I was inside 30 meters, but that's okay. Got plenty of time to get more critters on the ground with this bow before the rut. <laughs> 